Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these really easy trousers or pants. So these trousers can be made in any size from baby all the way up to adult and you can make them in any length that you want. So you could make shorts or three quarter lengths or full length trousers. So for my trousers or pants I used a four millimeter crochet hook and in this video I am using US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So your pants you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice, then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight and there you have a slip so knot. Once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain and you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you like but the longer you make your chain, the bigger your pants will be. So your foundation chain is going to go around the waistline of your pants. So you can measure how big you want your pants to be around the waistline and then chain up to that number. And your foundation chain must also be an even number. So you could chain 80, 100, 104, 86, 92, whatever you like, as long as it is an even number. And for these pants here, which I did, which these were little baby ones, I chained 66. So you can chain whatever you like as long as it is an even number. So make your foundation chain. So I have finished making my foundation chain and for the tutorial I'm just going to make some little pants so I haven't chained very much but if you're doing these in a child size or an adult size then obviously your chain will be a lot longer. And I would definitely say it is better to go bigger with your chain than smaller. I would add a few extra stitches than what you think you might need as around the top of our pants we are going to have kind of an elastic band effect where they can be made smaller. So make it bigger and then you can make them smaller with the elastic band at the top. So like this we have this band here which can be pulled tight and make your pants smaller around the top. So if you make them bigger to start off with then you can make them smaller using this to make them nice and snug. So make your foundation chain just a little bit bigger than you think you may need. And then once we have our chain we are going to turn our long chain which we have here into a foundation ring. So what we're going to do is go all the way along to the very first chain that we worked and you need to make sure that you are not twisting your chain. So I kind of like to go along my chain slowly like this and go down to the very first chain here and into this chain we're going to work a slip stitch. So insert your hook into this stitch and then take your yarn and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that will turn your foundation chain into a foundation ring and you need to make sure that you have not twisted it in any places. So I go around my chain and make sure that it is not twisted and if it is twisted then just undo your slip stitch and redo it again. So there we have our foundation ring and we are ready to move on so to round one. So we are now one. on to round one and to begin this round you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So for round one, we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So into every single chain, we're going to work one double crochet. So you want to yarn over and go down into this very first chain here that your chain one comes out of. As your chain one does not count as a stitch, we're going to go into this very first stitch here. So go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet, then yarn over and go into the next chain. So go into the next chain, 
and work one double crochet into this chain as well. Then yarn over and go into the next chain and work a double crochet into this one. And do this all the way around for round one. One double crochet into each and every chain. So go into each chain around. So I have just finished working this all the way around for round one. So one double crochet into each chain. And at the end of this round, you should have the same number of double crochets around as you chained. So if you chained 88, you should have 88 double crochets around in round one. And I definitely think that is the key to making these trousers or pants really nice, is counting your rounds. So making sure that in every round you have the right number of stitches. So in this round, round one, you should have the same number as you chained. And that does not include the chain one. The chain one that we worked at the very beginning of the round does not count as a stitch. So what we're going to do to finish off round one is we're going to go into the very first double crochet that we worked and work a slip stitch. So here is the first double crochet. This little stitch is the chain one and you don't want to go into that. You want to go into the first double crochet. So insert your hook into the double crochet and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. So there we have completed round one and we're ready to move on to round two. So we are now two. on to round two and to begin this round you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round two is very simple again. We are just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So one double crochet into each stitch. So yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here as our chain one does not count as a stitch. So go down into the first stitch and work one double crochet. And now we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch and one into the next. And do this all the way around. One double crochet into every single stitch. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round two and at the end of this round you should have the same number of stitches as you chained and the same number as round one. So you should have the same number as you did in round one. So if you had 88 you should still have 88 in round two. And now we're going to finish off this round by working a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet go into this stitch and work a slip stitch. So there we have finished round two and we are now on to round three. So we are three. now on to round three of our trousers or pants and the next part of our trousers is very simple. We are just going to repeat round two, so the round that we just did, again and again and again until you reach where you want to split off for your trouser legs. So at the moment we are here, we are on round two and you just want to repeat that round again and again and again until you reach this section here. So until you feel that you want to split off for your trouser legs. So you can do as many or as little rounds as you like and the more rounds you do the more high waisted your trousers or pants will be. So for these little baby ones here I made them quite high waisted so that they fit nice and snug and also so that they made room for a nappy or a diaper but if you were doing ones for adults or teenagers or if you're doing nice little shorts you may only want to do a few repetitions around two so that they are low rise or low waisted. So you can repeat that round as many times as you like. So you chain one and do one double crochet into each stitch around, finishing off with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. 
then repeat that again, chain one, one double crochet into each stitch around, finishing off with a slip stitch and just keep repeating that round again and again and again and for these pants here to give me the striped effect what I did was every third round of my pants I did in single crochet rather than double crochet and I also did in a different colour so you can see here, here and here these rounds are just doing one single crochet into each stitch around. So you do the exact same thing as round two, but rather than working in double crochet, I worked in single crochet for those rounds. And I also did them in a different color. So I changed colors at the beginning of the round and then worked one single crochet into each stitch around then changed colours back to the colour I was using before and went back to working in double crochet. So that is how I created the stripes. So I just thought I would explain how I created my striped pants, but if you just want basic pants or basic trousers, then just keep repeating round two again and again and again. But it is very simple just to create the stripes, just do every third round in a different colour and use single crochets instead of double crochets. So we're just going to keep repeating round two again and again and again. So chain one, go down into the very first stitch and do one double crochet into this stitch. Then do one double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next one and do this all the way around. Okay, so I have worked that all the way around for my first repetition of round two. And remember in every single round, you should have the same number of stitches around. So the same number of double crochets around as you chained. And now we're going to go into the very first stitch and work a slip stitch to finish off the round. But I just wanted to quickly show you how you can change colours if you do want to do the striped version. So what I like to do is I like to change colours whilst working the slip stitch. So what I do is I insert my hook into the double crochet as I would with a normal slip stitch. But rather than yarning over and pulling through these two loops here, I drop the yarn that I am using. So just drop the yarn and then take my new yarn or my new colour. So I take my new colour, place this over the end of my crochet hook and pull this through. And there I have completed the stitch and the round and I have my new colour here ready to begin my next round with. So then you just continue working the next round but using your new yarn or your new colour. So chain one and you can do one double crochet into each stitch around or if you want the little stripes like this then you can do one single crochet into each stitch around. So to do a single crochet just go down into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. And you can do that all the way around on every third round to give you the little stripes. And then when you get to the end, change colours back to the blue using the same method. So work a slip stitch into the first single crochet that you worked, but do not complete the slip stitch using the beige yarn. Drop that yarn and then re-pick up the blue. So we still have the blue attached here. So just pick this back up and pull it through. And then you can fasten off the beige. So cut the yarn, leaving a tail to weave into the inside of your pants later. And that is how you do a coloured round. So a little single crochet coloured round. But you can change colours as many times as you like. Or you could change colours with the double crochet. So you don't have to use the single crochet rounds. You can do all different stripes throughout your trousers. It's completely up to you. So just continue to repeat those rounds. So I rounds. have finished repeating those rounds and I just did mine in one solid colour just using double crochet. And I didn't do very many repeats as like I said I'm just doing some little mini pants today for this tutorial but you will probably have a lot more rounds than I have. 
for these pants here, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds. And now what we're going to do is we are going to move on to cutting for the trouser legs. So we're going to begin cutting for so the legs. In this round, what you want to do is you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. And you now need to remember what number you chained originally. So you may have chained 100 or 98 or 86. You chained an even number and you need to divide that number by two. So if you chained 100, you need to then divide that by two to get 50. If you chained 84, divide that by two to get 42. If you chained 66, divide that by two to get 33. Just remember what number you chained and divide that by two. And then that number that you have now, you need to work that many double crochets. So we are going to go halfway around our circle or our loop that we have here. So I'm going to yarn over and go down into the very first stitch that I worked and work one double crochet. Then I'm going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and the next one until I have the right number. So that should be half of the number that you originally so chained. So there I have worked my double crochets and as I chained 34, I divided that by two to make 17 and I have worked 17 double crochets around. So there we have almost finished round one of the first leg of our trousers. And what we're going to do now is we need to work a slip stitch into the very first double crochet that we worked. So you should have your work here like this with your last double crochet. And you want to kind of turn your work around so that you get to the very first double crochet of the round that you worked. So not the chain one here, the very first double crochet. And into this stitch, we are going to work a slip stitch. And this step can be a little bit fiddly, but just take it slowly. So go into the first double crochet that you worked, kind of go around the front and go in through this stitch and then work a slip stitch. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook, like that. So there we have round one of the first leg completed and you can see we have the first leg here and now we're ready to move on to round two. So to two. begin round two, you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. And round two is very simple. You just want to do one double crochet into each stitch round. And these rounds are going to be a lot smaller. They're going to go a lot quicker as you are just going around this leg here. So just go around this leg. So we're doing one double crochet into every single stitch around. So yarn over and go into the first stitch and work one double crochet. Then yarn over and go into the next one and work one double crochet and do one into the next stitch and do this all the way around and you should have the exact same number of stitches around as you did last round. So if you worked 17 double crochets in round one of this leg, you should work 17 in round two of this leg. So work one double crochet into each and every so stitch. So there I have round two completed and now we're going to go into the first double crochet that we worked and work a slip stitch. So there we have round two of that leg finished and we're ready to move on to round three. So to finish three. off this leg, you simply want to repeat round two, the round that we just did again and again and again. Chain one and then work one double crochet into each stitch around and then work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked, then repeat it again. Chain one, one double crochet into each stitch around and then a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And in every round, you should have the exact same number of stitches around. So just keep repeating that round, round two, again and again and again, until you feel that your leg is long enough. So you could make little shorts or three quarter lengths or full lengths, it's up to you, but you can do as many rounds as you like. 
And for these trousers here, I carried on by doing every third round in single crochet in a different color. So if you want to do that, just continue doing that way as I showed you before. But for these ones, I'm just doing a solid color and I'm just sticking with the double crochet. So just work repeats of round two until you feel that your leg is long enough. So I'm going to begin my very first repetition. So I'm going to chain one and this chain one never counts as a stitch. And then I'm going to yarn over and go down into the first stitch and work one double crochet. And then do one double crochet into each and every single stitch there, around. I have worked all the way around. I'm now going to go into the first double crochet and work a slip stitch. And there I have done that repetition and just continue doing that until your leg is so long I enough. I've finished working those rounds and I feel like my trousers are long enough. And I just want to do little mini shorts for this tutorial. So I'm not going to do any more rounds. I have done a few repetitions. But for these trousers here, I did 15 rounds or 15 repetitions. So now you want to fasten off once you have come to the very end of your last round. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn. So I'm going to cut my yarn and make sure that you leave a tail to weave in later. You need to weave this tail in using a yarn needle into the inside of your trousers to make them nice and secure. And now we're ready to move on to the second leg. So we are leg. now moving on to the second leg of our trousers or our pants. And what you want to do is you want to turn your work over to the back and you can tell the back as you have the seam down the back here. So we're going to start off on the back and you want to insert your hook into this stitch here. So we're going into this stitch here. So this is the last stitch that hasn't been worked into. And if you kind of turn your work up like this, you can see this last stitch here and you want to insert your hook into this stitch. Then take your yarn, so this is the yarn that we are working with. So I'm going to take my yarn, place this over the end of my crochet hook and pull this through. And then I'm going to chain one. So chain one like this. And there we have attached our new yarn for our second leg. And we are ready to move on to round so to one. So begin round one, you want to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here. So this is the exact same stitch that you just attached your yarn into. So yarn over and go into this stitch and work one double crochet. So work a double crochet into this very first stitch here. And now we're going to kind of turn our work over like this to the front. And then we have this stitch here, which is the first stitch which hasn't been worked into. So this stitch has been worked into, this has got the other leg into it. And this is the first stitch on this side on the front of our trousers, which hasn't been worked into. And we're going to work our next double crochet into that stitch. So yarn over and go into this stitch here and work your next double crochet. And then you just want to do one double crochet into every single stitch around for round one. So one into each stitch. And this should be the exact same number around as your other leg. So you need to make sure that both legs have the exact same number of stitches around. Otherwise one will be bigger than the other. So work one double crochet into every single stitch so around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round one. So here is my chain one that I worked at the beginning and that did not count as a stitch. And here is the first double crochet. And into that stitch, we are going to work a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the stitch and work a slip stitch. So there we have round one of the second leg complete and we're ready to move on to so round, round two. two. And the rest of the rounds of this leg are the exact same as the other leg. We're just going to chain one and work one double crochet into each stitch around and then work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And that is round two. And then just repeat that round again and again and again until you have the exact same number of rounds as you did for the opposite leg. So to begin leg. each round, chain one, 
then work one double crochet down into the very first stitch, then do one double crochet into the next stitch and the next one and do this all the way around and you should have the same number in every single round. So just keep repeating rounds of double crochet. So chain one, one double crochet into each stitch around, finishing off with a slip stitch until you have the exact same number as your other leg. So keep repeating these rounds just as so you I did before. I have just finished working both legs and I have my little pair of trousers almost finished. And now you may notice with your trousers that we have a hole here in between the legs and that is very easy to fix. All you need to do is take a yarn needle or a tapestry needle and then take some yarn in the same colour as you have been using. So take a piece of yarn, so I like to cut a nice long section or a nice long part. Then thread your needle and then simply sew this up. So I'm just going in through both sides and just sewing this up and it's very easy to do. I'm just going in through the same stitches on both sides of the legs like this and sewing up my trousers. So to sew mine up it literally took just three little stitches and then you can pull this out and weave those ends nice and securely into the inside. So there we have our trousers very nearly complete. So now I just want to show you how we are going to make this elastic band which goes along the so top. So to make here. the band you want to turn your trousers over to the back. So here I have the back and then insert your hook through the middle. So you can kind of see where the seam is. Just go through one of these stitches up by the seam. And then take your yarn that you are going to use. Place this over the end of your crochet hook and pull this through. And now you want to chain one. And that will attach your new yarn. So for this round, what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet into one stitch and then chain one and skip the next stitch. Then a double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch all the way around. So yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here that you attach your new yarn into and work one double crochet. Then chain one and skip the next stitch here. Then do a double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch. Double crochet into the next one along. Chain one, skip the next stitch. Double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip the next stitch. And do this all the way around. And this is going to create a band at the top, which we can weave our string in and out of. So double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, all the way okay, around. Okay, so I have finished working that all the way around. And I have done my last set of double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch. So now we're going to go into the very first stitch that we worked into here. So we're going to go into the first double crochet that we worked and go into this double crochet and work a slip stitch. And now you can fasten off, so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in later. And there we have our little band finished and now we can make our so string. So for the string, start off by making a slip knot, just as we did at the beginning of our trousers. And then you just want to chain. So you want to make a long chain and you can make this as long or as short as you like. And the bigger size you have done, the longer I would make your chain. So make your chain and it's best to make it quite long as then you can have enough chain to make a nice bow at the top. So make your chain as long so as you want I it. I have my chain and I have cut my yarn and pulled it through. So now you want to find the centre here of your band. So I like to count back like this and here I have the centre. So now you simply want to weave your string through these parts here. So go in and out through these parts all the way around. So just go in, out, in, out. All so the like way that. around. So I have gone all the way around and now you can pull this and tie it and make them as tight as you like. 
and that is why it's quite good to make your foundation chain longer and then you can have bigger shorts which you can pull tight um, to make them smaller. Especially if you were making these for a baby, if you make them a bit bigger and then you can pull this tight, they can grow into them then and then they can wear them for longer. And then you just want to fasten off these ends. So what I like to do is I like to tie a little knot around the end to stop them from coming undone to make a little ball and then fasten this off and do that on both sides and we have finished our trousers or our pants. And like I said, you can make these in any size from baby so to adult. So I have adult. finished working my trousers and this is what you should have. So I have sewed up the middle here and I have gone all the way around and weaved my string in and out. And then you want to center it in the middle and tie a knot or a bow. And I have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And thanks again for watching. Bye.